yeah so a lot of people a lot of, a lot of questions and comments over twitter uh, a lot of people asking about the the compound censored merger really um this was brought about so quickly we did not know nobody knew and i'm not saying anything that hasn't been said i assume um, garrett like every everything's been said so i'm not you know spilling any uh -huh. tea here so what uh wednesday the 19th there was a team meeting a compound uh, I couldn't make it because I have a little bean and I'm only in the city. I'm only at compound on Mondays. So Wednesday they have this big meeting. <laughs> it's it was uh, Kumi is still in South Carolina. So it was Gavin who was running the meeting and he basically was just like, everyone is fired. Yep. Corporate <laughs> Gavin. Which like, anyway, you can, you recount it. You were there Garrett. So what did you think the meeting was about? Did you guys, I mean, is. obviously, we all like were like, oh, Anthony moved to South Carolina. He's not hanging out in the studio anymore. We're all thinking he's going to shut down the studio or something, but we don't know what's going to happen. And then Gavin's like, yeah, big meeting on Wednesday. And we're all just sit down. And he's like, hey, so, you know, pretty much you're all inspired. Cool. See you later. Just like that. Just like that. Garrett. Uh, as my, since you're my mortal enemy, um, I'm ecstatic about this news that you were fired, but, um, I, and you do look unemployed right now. I love that you're in your chair like this. I love that. I'm, I'm, I'm just teasing you. Um, but I love that, uh, G Gavin, from what Bisconti told me was like, he said, uh, he said so many nice things about you. And then he was like. Oh, and by the way, yes, and even Garrett, who is you know ten years, yeah, blah blah, blah blah. He said, but you are fired as well. You're fired as well, and you still get nothing. It was like the weirdest, like I don't know, nonsensical place I've ever been in. I didn't know how to react to it. And he was just like, say, did no, you say to him, "How long have you been sitting on this?" Yeah, at the end yeah. of it, I was like, how long you've been waiting for this takeover? And he was like, oh, you know, for years now. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was huh. weird. Oof, wild. Was, um, was Anthony, like, uh, over via Zoom? Like, was he on the Yeah, call? he was just on Zoom. And then, like, after Gavin told us, he was doing the whole, you know, like, which I totally get. Like, he had a, like, put out his own money to keep compound going at the time. And it's like, yeah, you totally shouldn't have to do that. You know, you should be making money from this, but yeah. it's just weird that our boss is Anthony Cumia. And then when we get fired, Gavin comes in and just like gallantly fires us all. It doesn't care. <laughs> you know, it was weird. And there were a couple of people who thought that Anthony didn't know about the meeting at all until after his show with Gavin, like he didn't know that was going to be the meeting where yeah, he had no idea. Like Drew told him like, Oh yeah. Gavin's having a meeting after the show. And Anthony was like, Oh really? That's happening now. It was like, well, Chrissy, so you and Gino weren't even invited to the meeting, right? We were invited. Right. There was a text, yeah. like a group text, uh, yeah, big meeting, and that was on when the text went out. I think on Wednesday, so it was like, oh, meeting oh, okay. today. Gina was like, I don't yeah. know about the meeting at all. I don't understand. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. but, but even the way it was texted was like big meeting. So you're thinking like, oh, there's some good news. Like we all knew that Compound and Sensor were gonna merge and stuff. So you're like, oh, all right, at least it was good news. And then it was just horrible news. I had no idea that that there was a there was a merger. I knew that Gavin had wanted one, but I didn't think there. Uh, I didn't think we were going to go for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, but I mean, everybody said too, Garrett. Everybody. I. I mean, even what? I mean, even Kevin Brennan said like, right? Uh -huh. Everybody would think that you would be saved. You know, like yeah. And, and then he went. You know, you've done such a great job, but also you are. More but, than yeah. fired. You're done, yeah. done, done. Yeah, it's like, it was like awful. You're not even really fired. You're more of a economic redundancy. 
It was like, thanks oh, a fucking man. lot, you fucking asshole. It was the biggest fucking corporate Gavin thing. It was so weird. Like, it was so like, weird. you're Gavin McInnes. You're not corporate guy. And you're like, oh, here's your two weeks fire notice and stuff. It was so, yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, At least Warren got two weeks to, to like, which is not a lot of time at all, but they got two weeks to figure out what they were going to do for their last show. I got five fucking days. <laughs> and my last show was this Monday, this past Monday. So I had five days, like, and I would have loved to have put together like a best of. Yeah, movie. exactly. That worked like five years since uh, 2019. Summer 2019 is when Wednesday yeah, started. Like, I would have loved to together a best of. I would have loved to try to book uh -huh. guests. And, we uh, all love compound media so much. Like we wanted to celebrate it. Yeah, and then it was just like, it's quickly you're fired, and that's it. See you later. It was like, and what the fuck's even, going on? Yeah, it's not even really Anthony telling you. It's just it's no. Gavin. Yeah, uh -huh. it's this weirdo. It's like, being like, hey, we're, mer we're merging. Gavin's your new boss. Oh, he's firing you. It was what's going on. It was uh, so wrong. Awful. No, it is awful. I as much as I hate you, Garrett, that is awful. I know. Same. I, I feel so lucky that like. I, but thank God Keanu is my very good friend and was like, I'll be there. And my other very good friend, whatever, Amy, I was able to get like, I feel like kind of last minute. I invited you guys like what the day before. Uh -huh. I think. I know. Um, so thank God you came on. But yeah, I, uh, I don't and then like Gino just didn't. Handle. Gino would have been there. He loves you so much. He, he would have been there too. It's just that he didn't know if he was allowed to say anything uh -huh. yeah. yeah but that's what i don't i uh i think it's, it's i think it's very short-sighted this meeting happened june 19th to expect everyone to not say a how many people to not say a peep for two i know is not realistic well, Especially and then, when we're, and they, yeah Go when ahead. we're all on air at Every the time day. and we just like ha can't say anything and we all respect everyone and we don't want to say anything but it's mm -hmm. like what the fuck do you think we're, <laughs> we're doing what like, are you gonna we, do yeah. right yeah. you expect yeah. gino visconti to have his last show at that desk there in and that not say anything and yeah not say anything you're crazy I don't, uh -huh. yeah, the, the last yeah. wet spot. I'm not gonna tell the bleacher creatures, all the fans that come every <laughs> single week. Like I'm not gonna, no. I'm not gonna say something to them and have them show up the next no. week, like right. like a bunch of stray raccoons. Like on Thursday, we before Anthony's show, we were like, you know, yeah, like uh, you know, in hot water. Gat Gino kind of said that we're, you know, closing the studio and stuff, and he was like, wait, what? And we're like, yeah, you know, because we're off next week. He was like, oh, oh, yeah, I guess it is the last show in, in Compound. And, like, right. Anthony didn't even know. And it was, like, such an important thing to everyone. And he just yeah. didn't even have an idea. It was and just, he, didn't, he didn't have a, like, a, and I can't, I, I, I suppose neither of you, and I don't know, this is an outsider's perspective, neither of you, like, blame Anthony or whatever. But No, it, totally it, but, not. But he's like, oh, yeah, I guess it is the last show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so sad. Like, that yeah uh the, the yeah way you think he would be you proud of what he built yeah but yeah you, yeah he did he is proud of it and like but but i think you can't blame anthony it's just the weirdness of no how this, this exactly all yeah, yeah yeah no one blames anthony like we understand like oh yeah shit like because you know we're off in july the week of july and it's still june so like Right. You could understand why he doesn't think we're off next week and then like, oh shit, we are. Oh. But you know, all of us were like so the dead first, set on it. Yeah. I know. First, yeah, it's like, oh, we have our the week vacation week falls. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. And, and then uh, Chrissy, you and Gino were like kicking yourselves, like, do I, I have to make this my last show? I have to say something. And Anthony didn't even know that it no. was really your last <laughs> show. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm glad you did because it was a nice show, and I'm so glad that all the bleacher creatures showed up and all that. <laughs> Thursday was Thursday was a really special day. I felt really like proud that I was able to be there for the last in yeah yeah the studio because I owe 
uh, this would not be happening without Compound Media, without uh, Gino Bisconti and Aaron Berg giving me that first shot on In Hot Water back in 2018 after my mom died. And I'm like, let me start going on podcasts and doing <laughs> kooky characters. That'll ha and it's it changed my life. And they were so generous and and gracious and they just were like yeah come do whatever you don't even have to tell us what you're doing you have a way <laughs> an idea go for it and you don't get yeah. that anywhere do you, know else. What, do you know what he says about you he says we loved her and she would send us three pages of ideas <laughs> of things that she was gonna come in and do and they'd be like just come in and do it like you're always like a professional and prepared. yeah we trust they, you yeah yeah and i didn't want them to think like oh i'm gonna come in and like do something weird oh, like or, i'm yeah, going to have yeah. braids in my hair and i will be greta and <laughs> I, I was like this and this and this you know i would come and i would bring like the first time I went to combat media, I think I brought my first couple times. I think I brought pies because I really was like so grateful to be <laughs> like, I brought you guys a pie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it would have been, I know Anthony, like, I think he just didn't want to be involved in the business. Clearly didn't want to be involved in the Obviously, yeah. aspects of it. Which is but understandable, you know, yeah. And that's the thing is uh, when you decide to not want to be involved, you kind of then give up, you give that up to someone else. And then now you're not in control of how things end and you're not in control uh -huh. of, how, of how it's done and how it was done was really poorly. And yeah. um, you just can't expect a bunch of people who are, who are on air every day to, uh, to, to keep quiet if you do expect that you have to have some kind of language or uh, did he go over like here's what you say or here's yeah nothing not to it say. Was just like yeah. don't say you know don't mention it yet because we want to announce it on july 8th or something whatever it was and it was like july 8th that's even that's even like another one two, four <laughs> more days that's <laughs> almost one that's almost three weeks yeah i didn't know what they expected like we were just supposed to keep quiet and then on july 8th everything would switch the compound censored and everyone would just be okay with it and not question anything i don't know it was weird yeah it would be one thing if they're like and and who who knows like we'll we'll see like uh, what what me and gino end up doing i don't know uh because it was it, it's just it's it was a weird it was a weird call to get like everyone is fired but you and gino and it's like ugh. yeah and, so, and honestly everybody garrett people you know i i i'm in the chat rooms i see i look at them they thought that it people are so angry about them not keeping you they thought oh people are the most yeah. You are the most beloved, uh, literally, of, of any of us. And yes. I don't understand it because to me, you're just uh -huh. a horrible <laughs> monster. But, uh, but yeah, uh, it's 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 weird. And it, I, don't, I, I, I don't know Gavin. I really don't. But it is very odd. From the way it was described to me, it's like, well, uh, it's over. Uh, this is great. And you guys will pack this up won't you yeah yeah that was the thing too it was like and you know like in the next week or so we're gonna need this all packed up and stuff so if you guys want to do that we uh. could I, and it was like i immediately was like yeah good luck with that and anthony was like oh i kind of expected that uh, <laughs> like, no. it was I like what time, are you expecting i one time was fired from a job but then had to work two more weeks uh, and I remember my boss at the time wanted me to train the new person. And oh I, my God. I was always yeah. such a pushover, especially in all my corporate jobs. But I, I did draw the line at that. I was like, I'm not training the new person. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, time, just... and, uh, yeah. Have you ever trained your replacement? Like I worked at a bar one time and they brought this prettier girl in and they're like, show her around and train her. And then they fired me. I, was I like, mean, I kind of did because when uh, uh, Pat Dixon would like want to do extra stuff at the studio and no one wanted to come in and do it. So Asian Pat Dixon, Ryan Rivera, 
who works for Gavin now would come in and like he'd come in early and John Serino and I would train him on like how to do stuff and blah, blah, blah. And now he's the producer of Anthony's show. So how I kind of did that. How long ago was that? You know, that was like seven or eight years ago when we trained him and he just like learned how to use a TriCaster and stuff. But then, you know, get, you know, I Gavin know. took him when he moved out off on his own and stuff. And now he's huh. doing everyone's job. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me check the chat. Make sure we're answering your guys' questions from push-ups. I even gave Garrett a card. I like him so much. Oh, thank you, push-ups. That's your dog. He's my yep. mortal enemy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not crying. I know uh, one of the, uh, I think it was the In Hot Water uh, fan account on Twitter made a really lovely goodbye video. Actually, you know what? I want to find that and play it because it you is... You play that song Time It Was, It Wasn't Time It Was, It Wasn't No, but that was another thing like uh, Gavin retweeted that video. It was like hey, just to let you know In Hot Water and Chrissy's show are still on Compound Censored If you and it was like so out of touch and like <laughs> It was like, so yeah, weird. I didn't brutally fire everyone, but Chrissy, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's fine. Everybody's still Aww. here, except for, uh, yeah. Let's watch this. Oh, Aww. God, this was the uh, Artie and Anthony show. I guess it started right. I mean, you would know best. This started right when Anthony started the new, started oh, the network back in, was it 2015? No, I mean, this was. A few years after he moved to the studio in the city, like he was doing it by himself or with guests and stuff for a little while. Freaking then, Gilbert Gottfried's dead now. And then, that's Artie, isn't it? And Artie yeah. like, should be dead. He's, He's almost not. dead. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Huh. And this is a fair one with Shane Gillis. Oh, yeah. Boy. Everyone knows Shane now. Um, and I forget this guy's name. Shit. Ian Fidance. Ian Fidance. No, this guy. And Tommy Pope. Tommy Pope. Yeah. Who's like killing it now on Patreon. He has got his own thing going. And, uh -huh. yeah. and there's the uh, oh, when we had Dave Landau. Now yeah. He's yeah. Don with Steve, oh, that's a guest. <laughs> Steve, and I couldn't figure out who this was. That's freaking, oh my God, he used to manage uh, uh, Greenwich Village Comedy Club. The oh, I, oh, he didn't like me. He, I think oh he, my God. Oh, cowboy hat. Is that Dustin Chafin? Dustin yeah, Dustin Chafin, yes. Yeah. Um, He's a yeah, real he asshole. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Malice. Michael Malice. One of my favorite me memories from Combine was when Michael Malice let me host his show. Uh, yeah. night called it Nightmare. I was very proud of myself for coming up with it. <laughs> and, oh, my God, it was, like, the most fun. It was a really, like, wonderful challenge, too. It was, like, the first time. Yeah, I it was, like, that. a half-hour show, but it was, you know, a different kind of format than anyone else would do. Yeah. So it was a and, challenge, yeah. And so smart. And sorry, Al, if this is like ex just probably extreme inside baseball, and if you're bored to tears, no, um, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just listening. She's a left. He left very gracefully. He was writing two books yep. at the time. He was writing, I think, the New Right and um, what's the other one? The Anarchist. The Anarchist Handbook. Yeah. Uh, both, both on my shelf over there. So yeah, what a great guy. Yeah. Time it was, and what a time it was. Woo! Oh, this! Oh my God! Rest in peace, Crib Daddy. This is a show. What show was this that you did with Crib Daddy? TBD. Aww. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. Awesome. Inside dance. Confidence. Sleep dark. Our only. Uh, only yeah. black person. <laughs> oh my god, was that Wendy Starling? Was it? On uh yeah. Hot Water? Yeah. Wow, that was wow. And this was yeah, John, the old booth guy. Yeah. 
before you guys had any kind of uh, flair. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, my stencils. <laughs> oh my god, this was like we just did this episode when Lila was in town. I and that's know. Yeah. That's Alexis James with Frankie. How cute. Oh yeah, I was like, so, this was uh, when Aaron Berg was doing his Annette impression. <laughs> yeah, this is also the first... Uh, in hot water in the morning when we move to nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. It, what was it before in hot water was at what time before it was, when I met Gino in hot water was at 9 a.m., right? But yeah, it was like once a week at 3.30 or, or 3 o'clock or something like that. Wow. Yeah, 2.30, I forget. I guess I, I have you people to... Um, Think for meeting you no know, Bisconti. Honestly, this is it, it might be the worst thing on earth. But uh, <laughs> yeah. thank you for ruining my life, Gary. Oh, You're welcome. Okay. And this was your last show. This was one of our comedians of the compound shows backstage. Yeah, we took this picture. This uh, was like when Aaron wanted to leave, but he still had it yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell on his face. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's like, I'm not happy. My wife's no. not happy. And Christine's giving me a hard time. <laughs> Gina said every day from uh, uh, every Tuesday from two to three thirty. That's the that was when in hot water, I guess was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is when you guys went to the Met game. This was like last week. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is the last wet spot. Oh. Bad. Oh, this was at Sullivan's, and that was the last. Um, oh my god, that was the no. last Garrett and Steve, or something. Oh, yeah, and that's Frankie saying goodbye to Gina or whatever. Oh. Yeah. What no. you guys did that place was really very, very, very special. It really was. Um, yeah, 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 um, yeah. That was a thing, like, we didn't know at least by Thursday, I didn't even know if anyone was going to say anything about the last show, like Chrissy said, it was the last wet spot in that studio and stuff. And, was, you know, like, it was kind of put out there, yeah. but we still didn't know. And then we told Anthony before the show that it was the last, and he we didn't know. And then he finally didn't even realize. Something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because Gino was just like, fuck it. I'm saying something, you know? So he, so Anthony finally realized, yeah. So I had a whole plan of like, you know, oh, everyone's saying compounds closing down. We don't know, but let's pretend we're having a final show just so we could have a final show without saying anything. Yeah. You know, but luckily, it, it came to fruition, and we just got to be able to email everyone and let them have a final say in the show. And yeah, it was fun. You guys were yeah. awesome. You did five hours and every <laughs> person called in. Like that's so cool. I'm so glad you did that. Like Yeah. Yeah. And everyone yeah. go and subscribe uh -huh. to to what's your it's it's Garrett and Steve, right? Yeah and Steve YouTube? on YouTube. Yeah. You're you almost said, at like a thousand subscribers, right? How about yeah. you right? Amazing network, yeah. thank you. Which which gets us to um yes. why Garrett is here, and everyone's been asking Garrett and Steve, what are what's your guys' next move? What are you know? Everyone wants to follow you. You have a YouTube, but I was like, I, I uh, you know, to help you guys sort of figure out your next move, you guys are going to be streaming, you know, most if not every day next week. So mm -hmm. I said you guys can stream or you know like co-stream um on my channel as well as your channel to help sort of like yeah you know things going so garrett and steve will be streaming uh on my youtube channel at the times are being hammered out uh as we speak Yay. but it's gonna be yeah. really good and then who knows if like going forward it'll there'll be a permanent time but i'm just so excited to like have you you know introduce you guys to uh -huh. and i'm sure there's of like you know compound people already and like probably a lot of people know you guys but for those who don't it'll be a good introduction um to totally. everybody 
Yeah. Yeah, so, we're excited. And so it's, I think tomorrow at 9 o'clock at night we'll be doing a show on your channel. Yes. How fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh. I would, I will, well, I will only have uh, Steve on my YouTube channel because Good. I Garrett, you just, you're my mortal enemy, but, uh -huh. you know, I'm, I'm teasing you. I love yeah. that. Oh, yes, you're nice. building a network, Chrissy. See? Oh, my yeah, goodness. Imagine if I called it Come Compound Media. No, um, that's gross. <laughs> Chris, but yeah. Uh, Tomorrow at 9 p.m., the Garrett and Steve show will be here on this channel, and then the other times will be uh, will be figured out soon. Yeah, yeah. But just so you guys, uh, you know, I mean, you have your own channel, but we're just trying to do everything. But we're everything. Yeah, we're like yeah, trying to do it quickly and just like get it out to everyone as much as possible. So thank you, Chrissy, for oh, letting yeah. us do this. Yeah. Uh, and know. it's going to be a much more professional setup than right here on the couch with Garrett. This is just a taste. <laughs> this is the last minute pop on uh, Red Fox Mad. I really like Compound Media, the app, and the website. Uh, Sensor TV has no app and a bad website. I hope Sensor TV does not delete the app. Yeah, I don't know what uh, we have, I have no idea yeah. about anything they're doing, but uh, I am learning i'm trying to learn as much as i can soup can garrett what was compound media subscriber count over the years how many did they have at the start how many did they have in the past year i, I have no idea the only thing i ever knew was when i first signed on there was like you you know like that was five month five weeks after anthony started it was like they started with 40,000 subscribers, but then it just like trickled down from there. So, but I never, you know, that was 10 years ago. So I don't know, know what it ended up as. Yeah. You know what else is funny? Even what? Anthony said, uh, fucking, well, I guess we didn't think about what we were going to do with E-Rock. Did we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no one ever told E Rock anything, right? Yeah. Uh, he was like, oh yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a clusterfuck. Oh, oh boy. Um, Pat Maloney Garrett will found a radical organization, the Booth Boys, with a Z. <laughs> Um, Big Chris, love all you guys at compoundmedia.com. Thank you, Big Chris. Here's probably another question you can't answer. Did the booth get severance pay? Yeah, there's probably a, a lot of these questions. You maybe don't yeah. know, can't say, but. We're still like, we're not even, we're getting paid until July 4th. So I don't want to say anything that will jeopardize yeah, yeah. anything but yeah maybe after that we could say more stuff uh pat there maloney could, <laughs> couldn't get through to say goodbye on thursday this sucks we'll be waiting for the first episode of garrett and steve more than dar man and S S S <laughs> oh as the sniper wolf combined jay thomas <laughs> is yelling from heaven oh thanks pat yeah yeah so tomorrow on chrissy's channel tune in go back yes. Tune yeah. in. Garrett and Steve are so funny. Like they're, uh, I I believe many of the fans of Compound Media enjoy them way more than they did Wet Spot or anything I ever did. So, uh, no. oh, don't sell yourself. Uh, yeah, but it's like it's like a fun network, a family of a family of shows that I've always enjoyed. And uh, yeah. my God, yeah, yeah, yeah we were, we were more like. Not, you know, not to, but like Opie and Anthony kind of thing, just like a hangout, blah, blah, kind of thing. You know, like Wet Spot was great in its own thing, but it wasn't like, you know, like the, what the fans are expecting kind of thing. Like men. In your words, yeah. not the funniest, <laughs> but always fun. Oh, that was my favorite. At the end, everyone's saying like, oh, I'm going to miss this show. Chrissy, oh, thanks for the memories. And then Garrett was the last one. I'm like, Garrett, do you have anything to say? Not that I'm like tempting you for compliments. I can see how it came off that way. You were like, 
You're like, this show was fun. It wasn't the funniest, but it was fun. And I laughed so hard. <laughs> I mean, I still stand by it. I know how it sounds like <laughs> rude or something, uh, but no. it was like, it was a fun show. It was, you know, like all, all other shows weren't as constantly fun as Wet Spot. And it was, yeah, it was just a fun show. It was a nice challenge to every week be like, okay, how can I use the studio to the fullest? All right. And some weeks, yeah. anal ring toss. Some weeks it would be a dominatrix uh -huh. is coming in to wrap someone in saran wrap and step on their balls. But other weeks it would be like wholesome conversation. Yeah. And yeah, you definitely cool. used the studio till its maximum potential, you know? Like you had the yeah. most guests on, you had people oh, in man. the bleachers and all that I stuff. Was, you had people on the I couch. Was thinking like a couple of the bleacher creatures may or may not still have their virginity. I was planning like they would maybe <laughs> lose it at the studio. Like I had ideas, <laughs> dreams that I wanted to have come true for people, but uh, that will have to wait now. Yeah. When can we look forward to the new Chrissy Mayer Studios? Okay, uh, it's in the works. I just, uh, I'm very excited. I just um, ordered the the new um, wallpaper and I ordered the new furniture. So that's all coming like, nice. uh, in the next week or two. Are we and, going with the, the wallpaper you showed me? Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. And I was going to do either all wallpaper or half wallpaper. Whatever. I'll talk to you about it later because it's probably... Okay boring everybody but um <laughs> yeah and then i got i'm gonna order some more equipment uh i have a new computer coming uh, uh, being made actually so and, and I might for anybody bitching about uh chrissy like not getting right on the new studio like she just gave birth <laughs> i mean three weeks three months ago i just came for it no for real i in my mind i wanted to have everything done like uh i don't know like maybe <laughs> this just month, but everything off. everything takes longer no i didn't chirp you did fealty chirp you i don't know yeah he fealty must have chirped us yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. No, well, Mayor Studio have audience seating. Oh my God, I wish. But um, <laughs> we and Gino will be checking out uh, another uh, another studio that we could potentially use for something tomorrow. So you know, we're gonna we're exploring all of our options. <laughs> it, it wasn't fealty. He's he is not owning up to the chirp. All right, let me go through and see if there's any other compound related questions. Hello, Viking. I signed up to compound for Chrissy and Wet Spot. Ooh, nice. I, I didn't even know who Kumia was when I signed up. Oh my wow. god, this is rare. This is like because <laughs> Kumia is such a legend. Uh, very much. So. If you don't, if you live in the tri-state area, like New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, and you don't know who Kumia is, it's like, and you're of a certain age, it's like. Come on uh -huh. Thank you, Viking. Uh, from Kim Lewis Garrett. Never doubt the difference you made. We love you. I agree with you, Kim. Thank you. Um, Red Fox wants to know who gets to keep the news desk in the studio. That desk was in every show. No idea. You know, like once they told us we were fired, it was like, we don't know anything. Like n no one even was like, hey, send over anthony's intro or his closing music or anything like that like no one has anthony's stuff we don't know what's wow. gonna happen oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh you know what's funny because i i was in the back i was doing a little video of like goodbye to the studio and i'm in the back you saw me gary i'm in the back uh -huh. I'm in the prop i'm in the prop closet because i had a box of props that like was completely gone it was a blue tupperware bin and it had like yeah of extreme value but maybe some wigs and some like whiteboards and things we used for like the game shows and like the eating contest just gone completely gone but uh so i'm like all right of course it's gone <laughs> whatever and uh, but so there's a giant there's a giant like three foot tall bottle of champagne of like the viv chiclade uh -huh. like, champagne in there and i see there's a sticky on there that says like please send this to Anthony, like yeah, to his new to his home. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like the, the champagne has a home. <laughs> yeah, that was brought in, you know, when uh Trump was going against Biden, the election, oh, and then wow. Trump lost and he didn't open it. And then 
there was and like no one ever opened it. No one ever opened it. And then before we were, you know, after we were fired and before we left, it was told to us that better still be there and return it to Anthony. It was like, all right, How you want this ship five year old champagne that's been not in the freezer or anything? <laughs> Go it's ahead. Like, it's a giant bot. It's like a it's a magnum it of booze. Yeah. But it's like yeah. it must weigh 50 pounds. How do yeah. you, how expensive is it gonna be to ship? And I know it's get it, keep it from shaking. It's, that's impossible. <laughs> like it'd be cheaper just to buy a new one instead of sending it to Anthony. It's going to explode. How is it going to make it to South Carolina? I have no you? idea. You would have to put it in a magnum. car. Yeah. You have to put it in a car in like a, in a little bed to and drive yeah. there. It would need to be like packaged in like a child's like coffin or something. Like that <laughs> it would have to, it's that big. Oh, yeah. Like a baby's coffin. Or something. Champagne goes bad, supposedly, according to Douglas. Of course. Especially after five years of not even like sitting like upside down, you know, to keep the cork wet or anything like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Better, like, make sure this gets to Anthony. No, you <laughs> wow. make sure it gets yes. to Anthony. <laughs> champagne, unopened, unopened champagne, a non-vintage champagne, three to five years. Oh. Or it, says, it says vintage champagne, which is which it wasn't, five to ten years. High quality vintage champagne, ten to fifteen. I'm gonna guess that uh, it's probably no good. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no. And, like, it's like, yeah, it's one of those giant mega mega bottles of, of booze. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna it's already been sent to you. You guys should have just broken it open. You honestly. should have opened, you should have drank oh, yeah. it. You should I have know, been drinking it on Thursday all day. We were told like on Tuesday or Wednesday, you know, like I hope that's still there because that's Anthony's kind of thing. And it was like, all right, I guess we'll leave it. I don't know what you want to do with it, but go ahead. It's You're yours. You're all fired and make sure this yeah, champagne, fired. by the way, gets back. <laughs> but, but the champagne has a home. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. You know. be sending it's over a child's coffin it. for it. <laughs> yeah, no, they, it's like a, it needs a child's coffin to be packaged. <laughs> That's the only way you could ship it to Greenville. Yeah. That's and like, what? What is Anthony and Missy gonna open it up and drink it one night? You know, no, like he just had quadruple bypass. The man's <laughs> no. not really drinking that much. Like, okay, let alone he like sure a, this like get to Anthony. Like okay. twenty gallons. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Dan Vicious Simcast Media or Mayor Media with Keanu, Lila, Venti, and friends. Oh, well, giving me mm. ideas, Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Uh, Valley Low, what happened to Marshall and his eyes? I have no idea. So what happened? What's wrong with his eyes? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta look into that. Zato, is Lady Di still alive? Who knows? Yes, she is. She is She's still alive, but you know, like, I mean, eight years ago or something, it was. She's in a home and doesn't really know what's going on, kind of thing, but. Apparently, I heard, you know, kind of recently that she's still alive. What? But, yeah. But has no really, wow. like, cognitive ability kind of thing. I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to have yeah. to add uh, Steph the Alter Nerd, my, uh, my British expert. Matthew <laughs> Hammond, Chrissy, can you get Steve Inman on the podcast? His voiceover of viral videos is amazing. Oh, I love Steve Inman did the voiceover for when Melanie Mack caught my bridal bouquet. He's, uh, oh, wow. He's, that was, was a very cool uh, yeah. thing to watch him. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I think I was chatting with him. I'll have to get back in touch with him. I would love to get him on. Thank you, Matthew. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I think that's everything so far as comp compound questions. Right. Someone said, and I, I lost it, but somebody said compound mayor dia. Maybe you could, maybe you could make a whole a compound mayor dia. Right, <laughs> I think I don't think I'm. I would be allowed to use the word compound. <laughs> Who knows? 
Anthony won't care. He didn't even realize that it was their last day. He didn't even realize that he has a giant bottle of champagne there. It, it, he doesn't know. He would not not to like sound like ooh, you're kissing his ass, but I really am very grateful to Totally. Anthony. There's no way I'd be I'd be podcasting. There's no way. Yeah. You know, all I ever wanted was to be able to just support myself without a day job. That's it. I, I didn't have any dreams past that. And uh, because of <gasps> compound media, I actually felt like, oh, it's a possibility. And you know uh -huh. who else? Dreams came true. Uh, Gino Bisconti. Yay! <laughs> Hi, darling. You have cancer? What's that? <laughs> Look at... What's wrong? I like that we have the show behind you as well, Gino. Isn't that neat? I muted it. I'm at a very well. Garrett, why are you slumped down like you're in the fucking studio chair? <laughs> Living the dream. Look, buddy. You know, he, he never gets his angles right. Garrett, you're a thin <laughs> man, but you never have gotten your angles right. You may, you don't yeah, do you, you like my double chin? Says, if you can't see this is related to your Anderson Cooper dream, it's silly. Literally, that dream was prophetic. <laughs> I, had a, I had a dream that Anderson Cooper was hitting on me, but I Ooh. didn't. I didn't wow, a gay that. man hitting on you? <laughs> Gary, you want to know what else she, Still she, got had, it. A, she had a dream about? <laughs> she had a nightmare that she almost drank a margarita. She <laughs> thought about drinking one. Bizarre. That's not I'm even... really living on the edge. You're really living on the edge. Yeah. Didn't you drink on the last in hot water? A little? I I had um, a little bit of Prosecco. Yeah. I sure did, Garrett. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Man, get on. Wait, that wasn't the question? Hi, Al. Sorry to alienate you with our inside baseball. Sorry, Al. You're fine. Did what I fix it? Hell? You did. You're perfect now. Oh, wow. my God. Did what did I you did do? it. I don't know. I switched every setting and finally it worked. So there we nice. go. Wow. Nailed we it. it. If I had it. to replicate it again, I could not. So there we go. Wow. Good. Crushed it. Oh, yeah, we were just talking How's about uh, uh, compound media merging with censored TV. Um, I, yeah, we tried to answer as many questions as we could, but I was um, listening. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Mostly very excited to see, because uh, like Garrett, I heard you saying like you're not sure what you'll do because like being a booth boy for Compound Media is, is such a specialized, was such a specialized. Yeah. Job. But I know you have obviously a, you're you're very good. You guys are all really really professional and proficient and have tons of transferable skills. Like I'm sure you guys could do a lot of stuff, but I know you're you're probably just like figuring it out. But you get uh -huh. so funny, which is why everybody wants you to keep doing on camera stuff. Garrett, once you learn your angles and you stop making yourself look morbidly obese, <laughs> you a thin no man, stopping you. you're not only you have you have you have a you have a radio personality now and you know the tech stuff. So the sky's yeah. the limit. You have a face for really radio, like Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I was trying to compliment you. This is why we don't get along. All right. I hate you. <laughs> All right. Yes. Everyone loves your horrible angles. But you you and you you and Steve, you really did something special along with Mr. Bisconti over there. Yeah. Great. I'm so, glad we were we were rewarded for all the time we spent filling in for Anthony when he was out and all that stuff. It was such a compliment to get rewarded for all that effort we put in. Well, at least Gavin, you know, gave you a compliment before he, you know, really uh -huh. just fired you. Yeah. Just like, I believe he yelled, now clean it up. And you're like, no one's yeah. putting this shit in boxes <laughs> for you, are you? Uh, he you called mind? me economic redundancy, which was really uh -huh. nice. Oh Please. man! Now, let's see how this all plays out. Yeah. Matt Hammond, best wishes, Keanu. I'm so glad Gino came to his senses and put a ring on it. Now you need a mini Gino to become friends with Frank Jr. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, no, I cannot have a child. That's my worst nightmare. How and also, how am I not your worst nightmare? 
baby. There is yeah, no but- child that our child would look. I'd be embarrassed because there would be no child as cute as Frank Jr. There that's really true. wouldn't. Honestly, <laughs> that's that's the cutest baby I've ever seen in my life. And have you ever crazy. seen bigger eyes than Frank Jr.? It's amazing. I know. Is He's like an anime character, character in real life. Oh, oh. That's, that's not him. That's that's Keanu. <laughs> that's Frank Jr. Keanu. on a boat. That's he grew up me, so fast. That? Oh, yes, yeah, see exactly. That would be terrifying. My favorite thing is I drove the one of the baby's first outings was uh like we drove him to uh the nail salon that we go to. Uh mm-hmm. me and um, Frank's mom and uh and we like we we get out of the car and we like put him in the stroller, we're like driving him around and we and the nail ladies see us outside with the stroller and they knew the whole time I was pregnant, the whole time I was pregnant. Uh-huh. Oh, what are you having? What are you having a boy? Oh. So I'm finally there with the like the stroller and like one of them comes out and look and she's like, oh, he has such a big eye. You know, she kept saying, oh, no. oh it's such a big eye. <laughs> he does. I was like, you couldn't sound more Asian if you tried. Such like a big eye. Such a big eye. Oh, and he does. Empty eye like we have. <laughs> no, Bisconti, our child would be, you know, riddled with anxiety and it would probably uh-huh. be to dive into it. You know how much I worry, honey. Kid would be riddled with anxiety. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> you sound like me when I didn't want to have a baby. Aw. No, no pressure, no pressure. Terrible. No. We're not going to pressure Kiki to uh, Matthew Hammond. You missed my Kiana super chat. Oh, I, I did it. I'm sorry, Matthew. We apologize. Um, you should all start your own thing. Campground media. Campground. <laughs> comp right, campground. Comp comp Rolls right off the comp tongue. Um, Red Fox, good evening, Gino. How are you doing this weekend? When is in hot water going to be on again? I don't know how you want to answer this, Gino, but... Uh, allegedly, it will be on the 8th, but I have to sit down and hammer out, you know, my deal and see what's going on with that. But, you know... Starting from scratch, you know, I'm just going to take the studio, Garrett and Steve, and and the live slot. Oh, wait a minute. We'll figure it out. (laughs) What did you call me? (laughs) Uh, Mr. Rapey, Rapey Ray. Garrett, how long you give Gino before his new daddy falls? The daddy fires him. The guy gets 50 viewers for free on YouTube. How many (laughs) you reckon he gets through a paywall? This is what you call a hater. Wow, um, Mr. Rapey Ray, <laughs> any troll that's named after Ray DeVito has to fucking have his shit together. Oh <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.